Hey everybody, it's Karen from All Fall Acrylics. Happy almost Halloween. It's uh, Devil's Night. That's what we used to call it when I was a kid. Um, back for another pour. I'm um, been thinking a lot about that Sedona painting from uh, two videos ago. I want to give that a go with similar colors. Um, and yeah, I got a 12 by 24 canvas. I'm ready to go. I don't know why I'm like talking so weird. Um, let me show you the results from the uh, previous um, videos before we get started. Um, so up quick from the last video because it dried in less than 24 hours. Dried to the touch, not necessarily cured. And that's the um, Three Sisters uh, blue guy here. See, aren't they cute? That's my favorite thing in this whole painting. Um, it's very pretty. The, uh, this is done with just nothing but GAC 800, so it's very glossy and nice. I don't think I even need to varnish it. I, I might, though, just for the UV protection. I have to read up on the GAC and see if, it, if that's included in their product. Um, but I'm amazed. It's pretty, if not a little bit uninspired. But that's just me because, you know, it's just like basically blues and greens. So not a whole, you can tell not a whole lot of thought went into the color choices. But I was so mad about the um, the one painting that I had to do that one. So next up, um, this is from three videos ago, I believe. Um, I didn't film both, but these were my Twin Towers. So, oh, these are the um, 6x24 on this cradled hardwood um, ampersand or pre -gested. You get them at Blix, get them on sale, I'm telling you. Um, I'm in love with these. I think this is my best work ever right here. Um, these guys, best work ever in my opinion for myself um, because it's rare to have a vision in your head translate to the canvas and this actually did. So that's what it looks like. It's very uh, dramatic and moody and pretty and turned out phenomenal. And I will take these once they're up uh, finished curing and um, staying the sides I think I think this light color is um, a little too light to leave it natural so I will test um, another canvas for stains and give it a stain and then the tops will get resin so can't wait to see that one when it's all ready to go and then the companion piece to that it doesn't match exactly which you don't always necessarily want is this guy he's a little darker but he has that shimmer in him. Um, same deal. Very, very happy with how they turned out. So that's it for our completed projects. Look at that, I got a giant splinter. Can you see that right there in my hand? Let me yank that out. All right, um, down on the canvas. Let me see. I have to put my glasses on. I don't really need glasses for distance. They're for reading. And I'm really lazy, <laughs> as you heard me mention a, a bunch of times. And so I got these like progressives that really don't have anything on top, but allow me to keep them on my face. So I don't have to like take them off, put them on, take them off, put them on. So uh, that's what I do. So lots and lots of colors. I just spent the last hour mixing. Um, and before I tell you about my pouring medium recipe tonight, I did go to the Elmer's.com um, site for Elmer's glue all and other um, different types of glue. And they have changed their formula for Elmer's glue all. Um, they said it's stronger, more lasting, and you know, tougher. And you can tell the difference if you go to um, a hardware store or craft store to buy it because it'll now say interior um, on the label so that's how you can tell if you're getting a, a new container or the previous version and so that's what I was using was the new stuff in that painting um, and it definitely like I could tell um, so I'm gonna have to tinker with that um, I'm fortunate to, um, that tonight I had enough of the original formula to use so my pouring medium recipe is as usual a cup of glue um, a 
maybe three quarters of a cup of water and four ounces of, what did I put in here? I put in GAC 800 because I was running out of it, so I just killed it off. Um, this is all that's left. I had to make a couple batches, obviously, for um, all these colors. So I've organized the colors a bit because I had so many to switch so we could run through them real quick. So up first, one of my perennial favorites, the Metallic Teal by Blick. That's in, can you see this guy way over here? Let me touch him and see. Yep, this guy way over here. Next is just some Liquitex Basics, the gold. Next after that is uh, the Turquoise Deep, the heavy body Liquitex. And then Windsor Newton, um, this is their artist acrylic. This is the Quinacridone Burnt Orange, almost out of here. Next one is um, Liquitex Heavy Body. This is the Iridescent Rich Bronze. Uh, up here, that's my Burnt Umber, Windsor & Newton. Behind it here, that's my Liquitex Heavy Body, the Cobalt Turquoise. And then finally, oh, I did that backwards, hold on. And this cup here, it's the Burnt Sienna, and then the Burnt Umber, the brown, is in this guy here, so. Phew, a lot of colors. Um, and I really don't see any B team colors. If I were to eliminate anything at all, I would eliminate the, um, the lid's coming off, the burnt umber and one of the blues, like the uh, metallic blue. Those would be it. Um, no white. Tonight, I'm still like on a no white kick for whatever reason. So instead of white, I am using the unbleached titanium. So it's basically Ecru, and I don't even have a lot of it, it's just this cup here. So that's uh, replacing my white tonight. So let me get all the colors out of the way. I've gone ahead and added three drops of my treadmill silicone um, to my colors. Um, except for the raw umber because or burnt sienna um, because I wanted to show you my consistency and see how close I can get like this so don't pay attention to the stream pay attention to what's happening when it hits the cup so the paint hits the cup it lasts for about a half a second and poof it's gone and um, Another thing I like to do is as I go along and I like stir, I've added my silicone so I don't want to stir too much, but the drag on all the cups of paint should feel the same to me. One should not be like, woohoo, I can really like spin my stick on this one. They should all feel very, very similar. So I'm happy to report that these guys do. Let me throw, um, a couple drops into this guy before I forget and give him a little stir so it's just so I'm consistent um, throughout um, out of large cups I wanted to do a four cup large cup flip cup and so I'm gonna have to use my small ones can I see those if I put them there not so much can you so hold on a second let me come up just a little bit there and then actually let me move my base back a little bit like that and that way I can slide them up little pegs making some noise and I had these ordered so let me just order these on the side and then I can put my cups on the canvas Let me get these closer. I'm going to try and go fast because I know it's a lot. And I don't want this to turn into a 40 minute video. So, no silicone in this guy. Okay. 
and I don't have a lot to talk to you about since, you know, I just filmed twice yesterday. Um, about the only thing that's sort of exciting in my world is, well, not exciting, actually boring, is that, let me go in this order, um, the IT people at work accidentally killed my computer account. So, you know, I'm an office worker. It's amazing, like, how little you can do if you can't log on to your computer. And that happened yesterday morning. And when I talked to the IT guy, he's like, oh, yeah, that's going to be a day or two. So today, you know, chatted with people, talked to people about New York, hung out, and then left early because there's really nothing to do. So we'll see if it's like that tomorrow. And then the other thing I got, I got in the mail, I sent away for one of those, um, ancestry DNA kits because I'm adopted and I know my family on my birth mother's side and I know a large portion um, of my I guess heritage is Irish my maiden name is Cronin um, and then you know the Cronins or O'Cronins from Cork County Ireland so I know that bit but I know nothing on the paternal side so basically you get one of these guys in the mail and you have to go if you have never done it or you're thinking about it but apparently i have to give them a bunch of saliva and then send it off and they're supposedly um a lot better about pinpointing um where you're from whereas i guess before it used to be like oh yes you're european or now they can like really pinpoint um, exactly where so I'm kind of excited to do that just for the hell of it they were having a sale basically um, and figure that out and right next to me on my kitchen counter and you guys can't see it is a giant pumpkin that I should be carving instead of doing this and I decided if I have to make a mess, I'd rather make a mess with paint than pumpkin seeds. So, and I'm betting I don't have a computer at work tomorrow so I can come home early and do it. You know, my daughter went online and I told her to look up, you know, pumpkin carving templates. And she found the most, you know, 3D complicated like mommy let's do this lion with the you know mane and everyone like no way find something simpler and she came up with an upside down bat i'm like all right i can handle that so you know hmm, let me switch the order of these two for a second yeah let me go with the gold A friend of mine got a new job and works down in uh, Washington, D.C. and told me today that her office, there's only one Blix in the area and it's in D.C., which, as I said, is about 20 miles from here. Um, she said her new office is right across the street from Blix. And if I needed anything, let her know and she'd pick it up. I gotta find out if she drives which would be awesome because then she could load up a car. I don't want to make her like, you know, have to carry canvas if she takes the subway. But um, that's a nice little perk because she lives really close to me. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty in the cup. If it's half as pretty on the canvas, I'll be thrilled. The paint and everything feels a million times better tonight. Just much, much better. 
So, all right, layer number two. A little more of the ecru. Let's go ahead and throw in some of the metallic. Now I just did that color. Well, we'll go brown first. Why not? And then the metallic. If anybody is interested in buying any art, I do plan on having a sale and posting um, my inventory. I have, I have very little on my um, Waterfall Acrylics Facebook page account. Most of it's sold. Um, but I, I need to, up to upload it with all the various inventory lying around the house. The problem is you can't use the sale feature with your iPad. You have to, you, uh, you need a desktop version and our laptop broke. So now I gotta, my husband and I are kind of waiting um, for a couple weeks, like, you know, maybe a Black Friday sale around Thanksgiving to get a new laptop. So, well, I'm out of this color already. Bummer. One cup's gonna get chipped. Two cups are going to get chipped. Yeah, he's a bummer. First one down. All right. Well, then let's do this. <gasps> Did you guys see that? That was close. <laughs> Uh, I got some on the bottom of the cup, but that doesn't matter. We'll switch, we'll switch these up like this. There. Oh my God, I'm such a goober sometimes. All right, what do I want next? Uh, almost out of the gold. So we'll put the gold in these two, since we don't have the burnt umbra, or burnt sienna. See, I keep confusing them. drop of the gold. All right, two down. What do we got left? A little bit of green. I'm kind of proud of myself. I, uh, like I said, I don't measure. I just kind of have a good feel after all this time for volume and knew I wanted like two layers of the colors. And so far, I've been right on the money, just a little bit shy with the burnt sienna. Otherwise, pretty spot on, I say. What do I have left? A little bit of bronze. Maybe enough for two cups. It's going to go here. And here, yep. A 
Eye by Bronze. Acro is just about done. Not for all cups here. Hold on. Please, please, for the love of pain, if this part bores you, please fast forward, particularly tonight, because I don't really have a lot to talk about. Or I could tell you stories about my life, and I'm just kind of. Kind of zen, you know what I mean? Like yesterday I was all kind of fired up. Um, but today, tonight, I'm just kind of like do do do. And a little bit of the deep turquoise and we're done. This is it. That one doesn't need any more. These are pretty full cups. So maybe I won't need all five. And I can throw one on a 10 by 10. All right. Let me move this back like that just a little bit. How's your view? It's hard to see the camera. Does it need to be up higher? Let me see. And then up higher and then turn this down. Is that worse or better? Oh God, that's way worse. See, I should not touch things. This is why I'm not allowed to touch things. All right, we're just gonna go with that. All right, so again, this is um, one of those 70% off canvases from AC Moore. It's kind of rough. Um, had I been smart, I would have put down maybe a coat of my Ecru on top. Um, just to help things slide around. I'm have mixed minds of that. I know a ton of people do that. They put down paint on the canvas. And I think that's fine if you're gonna do um, a floating drag, you know, when you put the cup and then you, you direct it around or let it float all around. And that's fun and great. Um, but if you're just gonna like flip the cups over and then tilt, it seems like a waste of paint to me. My personal opinion. You guys do whatever you want. Anyway, all right. One, two, this is an or. All right. One. Two. I'm going to try and get by with four. And if I need the fifth one, well, then I have it. All right, let that sit a second. Took my tea, eat a piece of chocolate. Where's my chocolate? And this is the good stuff. This is the stuff we hide from our kids. This is from a chocolate shop in New York called La Maison du Chocolat. And it's the good stuff. It's not the Halloween candy, let me just say that. So, a little bit of chocolate with my tea. Oh, and I wanted to thank everyone for your lovely comments and suggestions um, under the YouTube videos. Um, I read everything, I appreciate it. Um, Happy to answer questions. I'd rather answer questions on YouTube or on the acrylic pouring page. I don't like to talk about my processes, uh, my processes or um, give out hints on my Waterfall Acrylic Facebook page because that's my page to sell art. And so I kind of, you know, don't want to show people the magic, or, you know, what's behind the curtain and all that. So. Um, if I, I don't delete your messages, I usually just hide them from the public and then I will send you, um, a direct message 
or something. Um, just a heads up. Mm. All right, ready? Let me throw on some gloves. Let's go. I don't know what to think. I'm kind of worried like it's going to be too blue or no, it's going to be too brown or too orange or I don't know. Maybe it'll be fine. Okay. okay. Ready? One. Quarter cup of paint left in my cup. Two. Three. Ooh. Look at the red there. Wow, I left half the uh, cup. Let me do this. If I, if I pour it, it might stripe. That's okay. We're just gonna go. No, oh, but I don't like all that gold either. There we go. That's a little better. Oh my gosh, do I love these colors. Oh, I really, really, really do. Like really. Y'all, really. I still have a half a cup in this one. So, let me see. Let's let the paint do its thing. Oh, that was something else I wanted to mention, too. Like, I see a lot of videos where people, um, you know, they pour and then they tilt really fast. Or maybe the video is just sped up, but... Let the paint rest on your canvas a second. Let it spread out. Let cells form by themselves. Um, take a minute to just take it in. It's fun. Slow it down. Enjoy it. That sounds so cheesy. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's true. Like, it's not a race. Um, oh, which, speaking of races, that reminds me. Um, I am. Somebody commented about putting silicone on the sides of the cup. I know that trick. I just don't like to add any more silicone to my paint other than the drops I've already added. So I'd rather have it pour out slowly and wait. Um, it's a catch-22 because you do get more paint out of the cup. So I don't know. I just don't want more silicone in my colors. So I don't do it. But thank you for the suggestion. I really do appreciate all this. All right. Um, doesn't seem to be moving all that much. Let me grab, like I said, I have a, still have, I'm not going to need that fifth cup for sure. I have paint here that maybe I'm just going to run some down there. Goodbye, gorgeous uh, gold cell with the blue ring around it because. I think I'm about to ruin you. Yep. Oh my gosh, even love that. And I still have, like this cup here has like a half a cup. Um, if I need it, let's give a torch, pop some bubbles and then give it a tilt. putting heat on it. I did leave it rest for a little bit. I'm not too bad with the bubbles. Oh, some in here. All right.
okay you guys like do you ever pour and then it lands on your canvas and you're like oh, shit I don't want to tilt because it's so pretty that's kind of how I feel right now like it's so so pretty I wish I could just stop right there I think it's just a I just really really enjoy these this color combination all right let me wiggle my way toward me first let me move cups out of the way up toward you. And we're just going to wiggle because we like the shape of the cells and there seems to be enough paint and they're not getting too stretched and I don't know why I'm talking like this because I'm all excited. That's one way to get the paint off. Just slip the canvas out of your hand and boom, problem solved. Did not mean for that to happen. Let me stop, let's stop, let's stop and stare. Stop and stare, come back a little bit. When I make that noise, you know I really like something, right? Have you guys figured that out yet? All right, let me, I probably can do that. It's just like, I'm so happy with how it is right now. It's like, I don't want to move anymore, but I know I got to. Like, I really don't have to for those little itty bitty corners. Um, But it really shouldn't take much. And come down this way just a little bit and then off we go again. There. And then back this way. What do I got left? Nothing but little itty bitty corners, right? Well, let me grab my trusty spoon. Hold on a second. Those colors right there. Oh my god. This like almost calls for like a pour. You know what I mean? Like just pour. I should probably grab a canvas and just pour with that fifth cup that's sitting here taunting me now because uh, I think that would be gorgeous too. Let me get some of that blue. some of that. There we go. It feels, um, I'm not used to working on a, a thinner canvas too, like a traditional canvas. I always get the, uh, the two inch gallery wrapped. So it's like, oh yeah, I don't have as much on the sides to worry about because they're just not that deep. How does your side look? Mm. 
you know what I should do like for my followers on um, YouTube is maybe I do a live can you do that like a live video on to not on Facebook like on YouTube and give you guys a date and time um, you know it'll never be convenient for everybody but try to get as many people as I can because man it'd be fun to be able to uh, you know talk to people Oh, your side looks pretty good. Let's just, uh, let me scoop up some of this right here. A little blue finger dab right there. And wow. Let me see if I'm going to torch anywhere. Um, check out the comp composition one last time. I almost said competition. I don't like that right there. Hold on. Let me grab a little salt out of my cup. Yeah, I don't like that white there. Make it match. Let me tilt that off right there. I'm not so nitpicky, right? I'm gonna come off that way anyway. No, because I don't want to lose those cells. I like those cells. Do I want to come your way? No. Do I want to come this way a little bit? Maybe just a little bit. Like that. Alright. Torch. It's a little bit mottled in this blue part here. So I'm just going to give that a little... And then, um, the one corner's bugging me. Oh, that's with it off camera. Where's my torch? Like in here, so I'm gonna maybe get a try for some just baby cells in a couple of the spots. Right there and right there. I don't know if it'll do. Oh, yeah, see, get some copper coming up. That's good. And then, I love that. Maybe some of this guy right here. And I'm really happy to see the bronze, that it didn't get subsumed by things. It uh, showed up. And I'm really happy I didn't get a lot of caterpillars. So, yay. I'm, uh, I can't see anything else to do, honestly. Rather than prolong it, I'm going to say, I'm going to call it done and say, ta -da! Um, yeah, super, super, super happy. Very close to the vision in my head. Um, very, very close. What colors? I would have liked to seen uh, just to like, like uh, this, just if this side had just a little bit of gold, it'd be perfect. <laughs> I know you're probably be like, you're such an asshole. It's perfect. Shut up. I know. I apologize. All right. Let me, um, I'll take really good pictures.